Hi guys, and hello from the hilltop. I'm the Plata Perfectionist, and I want to welcome you to my channel. Okay guys, so I decided to make this little quick little video to kind of... Uh, just because I felt like making a video today. And this is what happens when you are stuck at home and can't do much elsewhere. So, I decided to do just this cute little quote page. I was kind of in a doodling mindset, so I decided to draw more manatees because they're freaking adorable. And I figured I'd kind of explain how to draw a manatee? I don't know. Maybe, anyway. Um, so it, uh, basically what I did was I found a reference picture off of Pinterest. Just be, I just Pinterest the word manatees and manatees came up. And I found one picture with a mama manatee and her calf. And, which, that's what a baby manatee is called, is a calf. And, um, I, I drew them out, and I liked it, but I didn't like where they were placed, but I didn't want to erase them, so I added another baby manatee, just because baby manatees, and then a quote on the top of the page. So, in case you were curious, how to draw a manatee, or at least how I draw a manatee, is I basically start with an avocado shape. That sounds terrible, but that's how I start. Uh, especially the mama manatee. She looks kind of like an avocado. I started with an avocado shape, then I added a tail. I used the reference picture to kind of figure out how I wanted to do uh, the arms on a manatee. They like to hang down the arms, and they they almost kind of look like a buff a buff guy with uh, making the, the one of them pose things, but. Uh, on a manatee they obviously don't look like that but that's kind of how they they physically sit on their body on their persons on their bodies because they're not persons but bodies and then um they can do other things with their arms and everything like uh, as you saw in some of my other pictures those are actually based off of well, most of them are based off of reference pictures and then of course i i turned them into kind of cutesy cartoon style but anyway um and then of course the quote I totally made up. I felt like saying, take today, like Medity, slow and steady. Because with being, you know, the quarantine stuff and, and I personally am on administrative leave, um, just from my full-time job because that's how they wanted to make that boat float. Um, everything has just kind of slowed down, so take it slow and steady. And who better to inspire that than a manatee? So yes, um, I also had someone kind of make a comment about the outline versus coloring the manatees. I do like the manatees um, just plain outlined, but I thought that made the page look a little too blank when I was originally setting up my spreads for April, hence why they became colored gray. And later on you'll see me, I did try to shade just a little bit on uh, the, one of the baby manatees and the mama manatee but these super tips just did not want to do like I wanted them to so I stopped if I had done these with my mod liners they probably would have shaded better and I could have made them look better but I didn't because I was trying not to use my Ziva mod liners so um lesson learned also, in case you were curious, there is the the numbers on the bottom of my super tips. I decided to color code my super tips. Uh, when I originally bought them, I bought them in a pack of 50. And I was getting really frustrated when I was trying to figure out what colors I wanted to use um, because they weren't, I mean, they have names, but they're not numbered like, um, other sets of things that I have, like even my mod liners have names on them so I can know what color I'm using. So I went ahead and I just used a sharpie and I numbered all of my markers and then I made a little color code sheet. I have a picture of that on my Instagram in case you're curious. And then I was having a problem with smudging on my sharpie so I just took some scotch tape and pressed it over the the sharpie so they would stop smudging and I wouldn't have to worry about them bumping each other in my case and all that good stuff so yes uh, how you doing <laughs> um, I also had someone else will make comments uh, you know great job bro and all that other stuff I don't mind being called bro but I am 
not a bro. But I am a lady. I'll have you know. Thank you very much. But who cares? I don't care. I'm maybe that's the inner perfectionist in me. Eh? 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 Yeah, totally playing words. So this is what happens when I get bored on weekends. I decided to do an entirely new vanity quilt page. Um, like I said, I was in a doodling mood and I have already started planning out kind of what I want to do for the month of May. May is my birthday. It's my birth month. So I figured I would kind of base it off of some things that make me happy just because I'm going to try to go with a floral theme. I already have some in mind. I've been practicing how to draw them because uh, one is a type of lupine and lupines can be kind of a tedious drill. Um, also, I had to figure out how to draw freaking roses. Do you have any idea how hard it is to draw roses? Roses are hard. Ugh. Um, anyway. So, yeah. Uh, see, I, I tried the shading. It, didn't, it just didn't quite work. It didn't quite work. Okay, so, and then of course, then we have to have some scribble grass. And I did add some bubbles and some washi tape. Uh, so, fun fact. I, you know I love my fun facts. Uh, I have a very limited supply of washi. I do that on purpose. I am a minimalist. I try not to have excessive amounts of stuff. So, that's just how that cookie crumbles. Um, so, later on, yeah, you'll see my pencil case. That pencil case, I have recently had some washi tape come in. I bought some off of Wish, which I might use in my May spread, but I don't quite know yet. Uh, but all of my washi tape fits in that pencil case, which I bought for 65 cents on them. But yeah, minimalist. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna call it quits here. Uh, enjoy the bubbles. Alright guys, I want to thank you so much for watching my video today. I would love a like, a subscribe, by all means leave me a comment. And also you can find me on these other platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and then my website, theplateauperfectionist.com.